Okay guys, so we're just gonna cut this one at 45 and I had to trim underneath and uh, and a nice little trim underneath. We're gonna cut this at a 30 degree angle. This is just a basic common, common uh, builder's trim board. Nothing fancy. We'll set this one in place. And we'll have to cut the other one at the same angle. It's gonna be the exact same cut. Okay, we'll come down here and get this piece in place. So, just a 45 on this end, and then I cut her, cut around my, cut around my vent. Okay, looks pretty good. Okay, guys, I like to go ahead and pop this in. I don't like it moving around, so I just wanna. Okay guys, we're at that same 30 degree angle. We gotta keep everything the same because this is gonna butt right into it, okay? Okay, what I did was I cut from just the big end, top end, the skinny end. So I went from this edge and I went 105 and I put a line, okay? Okay, put the line right there. I'm going to have my angle finishing at the back of the line. So it's going to be a 45 finishing at the back of that line. All right. So before you do this, before you start, uh, before you start gluing and brad nailing, tip of the day, check all down the wall. Make sure you don't have any nails. You'd hate to get started and have to deal with a nail. So it doesn't hurt to look real quick. Okay, before you get going, you want to get it some good glue on there. It'll be a little messy at first, but we'll clean it up. So, come in here. And I want that level. My kids are screaming. <laughs> okay. Okay, the next thing I use is I use this window glaze. I use it for the holes. I use it for the holes and I use it for stuff like this. What's cool about this is it doesn't shrink up as much as some of the other stuff that's out there. And you can literally put it in these grooves, you know, all the areas where it's not completely perfect. Okay. So after I put the, the window glaze on there, kind of wipe it down where all the holes used to be. Okay. And it's pretty smooth. And then I'll sand it a little bit. <clears throat> So after sanding it up, filling in those holes, I still have to do the rest of the wall. I'm just doing a demo. So filling those holes, sanding this down. Everything's pretty much smooth. I'm just trying to wipe off the debris. Okay. I'm not doing it with the wet towel. I'm just kind of doing it with the dry paper towel so I can avoid having to wait longer to paint it. I'm gonna come back in here. I'm gonna paint this section. We'll see how it looks. All right, guys, we're just gonna, I have this taped up just for the demo. Of course, I'm gonna do the whole wall, but I just taped up this area to, to uh, do the demo. And we'll get some paint, some paint going. And then this is what I would do with the whole wall. So we'll give it a coat of paint and we'll come back and we'll give it another coat. Voila, that's how it is. That's how it's done, guys. Okay, guys. We got the whole, that was my son's nerf gun. We got the whole run in. 
All we gotta do is do the other side of the room, just like this one, except uh, no vent, and uh, keep on rolling. It's all downhill from here. You just, the little pieces are real easy to do. It's just every now and then you do have to tie in a piece if it's too long for the material that you're using. So, uh, if y'all like this, please hit the like button. I appreciate it. Consider subscribing to our channel. We'll see you on the next one. Take care.